Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at Revit 2016 and the Area and Path Reinforcement commands. Here I have a structural floor slab. If I need to put in Area or Path Reinforcing, I can select either command. I'll start with Area. The lower left corner of your Revit screen will tell you it's a command line to pick the structural floor or wall for the area reinforcement. I'll select that slab. It'll tell me by default hooks will be included in the rebar shape. <clears throat> It goes into sketch mode, and it's asking you to draw the boundaries that define that area reinforcement. So for example, maybe I want to reinforce just this area here. Why? Because maybe there's going to be some structural equipment that's sitting on top of this uh, slab, and it needs a bit to be a bit stronger. Once you've created the sketch, you can see in the type selector, you have structural area reinforcement one. You can duplicate it and make your own and put in the data that you need. In the instance property of the view, you can specify things like the layout rule, uh, additional top and bottom covers, the visibility states we'll show in a second, and the layers. You have top major, top minor, bottom major, and bottom minor. By default, they're all checked. And so if they're checked, you can change the property information about that particular top major direction uh, reinforcement. And again, you can just go in here and pick the different options that you need. Once all of this information is set, you hit the green check mark and the information is created and it's tagged by default. If we look at this in 3D, we can see it looks like this in a hidden view. Um, if we switch this to wireframe, we can actually see the data. If we go in here, we select the reinforcement and use SA keyboard shortcut for selecting all of it. We can change its view visibility state so that we can see it as solid and unobscured. We can switch it to make sure it says fine, and if we shade it up, we can now see it even though um, it's in shaded mode. If I go in and specify the path reinforcement command, it'll ask for the same thing, pick a structural floor or wall, pick it, it goes into sketch mode, and I can draw the, lines, the line that I need and flip the direction of that path reinforcement, again specifying all the material information and property information that I need. When I'm all finished, hit the green check mark. It puts it in, tags it. We look at it in 3D. It looks like this. If I switch it to wireframe again, I can select that and change its visibility states as well so you can see how it looks. And if I shade it, there you go. All right? And so that is the area and path commands for reinforcement in Revit 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.